Oh, Jordan, I'm so excited to be here in your space. Like this is an amazing quaint little boutique, but it's actually not just a boutique. It is called? Modern Catering Boutique Cafe. <laughs> nice. Let's define exactly what you do. So I started out in French pastry and found that it was too structured for me. Oh, okay. It was kind of like my own personal torture, just waiting for everything to work out perfectly. <laughs> and I fell away from that after a couple of years and then became a chef instead, which I love. I love the tangible aspects of being a chef. I love being able to touch things, the smell, hmm. mainly touching them. Yeah. As opposed to baking, you can't really do that. Right. And so I am classically trained as pastry chef. However, I don't love doing it. My passion is, you know, being a chef, cooking. For those that don't understand, when we say chef, that means you just cook, right? It's like the five course meal or it's the three course meal. Is that correct? And then being a chef that branches down into a multitude of styles of chefs. Um, okay. Most chefs will find their specialty. So speaking in English, there will be a chef that is specific with beef. Some that are specific with hors d'oeuvres. Oh, okay, right. And then you get into, you know, the pastry chef side, which leads into baking. Right. There's probably in Canada alone over a dozen different types of chefs. Wow. Let's just talk about what it means to be a gold seal. Because I am intrigued. When I started looking you up and I started looking at things about you and what you do, I'm like, she's a chef. That's awesome. I love that she's a female <laughs> chef. That's great. And then I got into this whole gold seal thing. So this is your moment. Please educate us on what a gold seal means. So what it means is that, and I'm just going to nutshell this. Yep, nutshell. Keeps it easy. You need to go, or I need to go, to a new country each year. You can never repeat a country within eight years. And you have to study the cuisine in that country. You have to study the culture, the types of food that come from there, the way they prepare. And then you apprentice for a minimum of 500 hours in the highest star restaurant that you can find. Not all countries will have that. And you're not paid to do it. So it's basically your chef with a huge thirst for knowledge and travel, which is me through and through. It's a badge of honor, really, mm -hmm. isn't it? So you need to be nominated into it by someone within the program, and then there's a vetting, like a huge vetting really? everything. Yeah, it's, it's a big deal. However, in Canada, it's not overly well known, and that is because we're such a large nation, and we have to fly everywhere to study. So if you're from one of the European nations, you could have 10 years worth of apprenticeship work in a two hour flight from home. Right. So like there must be thousands of gold seal chefs around the world. There is mostly men though. There's oh. currently just over a thousand female. A thousand female gold seal chefs. Mm -hmm. And how many are there in Canada? Just one. So I just want to be clear, you are the only female gold seal chef in Canada. For now. That's amazing. 